What does it take to work for Meghan Markle and the rest of the royal family? Working for the royal family sounds like the ultimate dream job of a lifetime. Who wouldn't want the opportunity to live in a palace, and interact with the world's most famous family on a daily basis? There is no doubt that when a job opening for the royals is announced, the palace is flooded with applications. Most of us likely imagine that hundreds of people line up for interviews, submit references, and the best candidate wins. However, the process is somewhat more complicated than that. Let's take a closer look at what it takes to work for Meghan Markle and the rest of the royal family. Working for the royal family is not a typical job. Most people are quite open about their employment. They are free to talk about their daily work routine with friends and family and even make comments about their jobs on social media. One of the strictest rules when working for the royal family is that it must be kept under wraps. All employees are required to sign a non-disclosure agreement, meaning they are not to let anyone know if they saw Prince Harry roaming the halls of Kensington Palace, or post a picture of Queen Elizabeth on her way to her Buckingham Palace office. As an employee of the royal family, a person cannot even give specific details such as which member of the family they work for and what, exactly, they do. This is why we will never see an assistant letting everyone know that they are the person who brings Kate Middleton her afternoon tea. There is a lot of competition. Job applicants must be prepared to face massive competition. One job opening usually results in thousands of applications. The interview process is extensive, and the perfect candidate will need the references, experience and know how to handle the position for which they are being considered. This makes it extremely difficult to get a job working for the royal family since so many people are being considered for a single position, and even the best candidates are often turned down in favor of someone else. Employees must be willing to work extremely hard and follow rules. Working for the royal family is a very demanding job. Employees are often on call around the clock and must be available whenever needed. Things need to run smoothly at all times, and there is no room for error. Those who would like a job working for the royals need to understand that it is not a relaxed atmosphere, as family members, such as Meghan, have been known to send emails to staff before sunrise. The rules go on and on, including how to speak to the royals. The training to work for the royal family is intense. Employees of the royal family go through some pretty tough training as they must know how to do things exactly as expected. After all, you can't just wander up to the queen and casually ask her how she prefers something to be done. Those who work for the family are expected to be well-educated, having taken classes in areas such as defensive driving. Prince William and Kate Middleton's nanny, for example, is not a typical babysitter. She graduated from nanny school. The training is also said to be quite expensive. There are wonderful perks with working for the royal family. Even with the huge list of rules that come along with being a royal employee, we do have to say that there are some amazing perks. In addition to living in a royal residence, employees get to enjoy delicious and expertly prepared meals, pools, tennis courts and just about everything else that the palaces have to offer. Sounds like working for the world's most famous family is a pretty spectacular position to have.